it's people wanting to join the event are just kind of having a lot of procedures and processes and there's literally about no way i can just send them the link to join the link yeah i thought yes. so too you know i i, I thought yeah. so too the like the platform you know most people are already used to either google meet or um or or zoom right so this one is a bit is a bit new and then also ah this the the signing process is, is lengthy and even me myself if i complain that it's lengthy then you know talk less of someone who is not uh, who is not taking client or something Mm, that's that's very very true and i actually noticed this and most often i do not really like get to use the bevy platform but i just thought let me just use it at least um once in a while <laughs> let me not be like the <laughs> black sheep and yeah and also it's also important we kind of like get to submit feedbacks so that you know they get to improve i think maybe okay. the reason they have to ensure that people sign up is so that you know you can get to track because this is like an event and mm. it's it's they don't most events are actually you know paid so it's not really expected that people just joining it should just be ghost people just joining in i believe that's why that process has to be there so that you know that okay if they actually have to pay you know they are being mm. able to pay that's why it's all of that but because this event is free now it does not have a way to know that okay this one is free just have direct access so you uh, need to have accounts and all of that uh well yes. nonetheless that's that's really fine but it also has lots of cool features you know you know the transcription simulcast have ai featured everywhere it's just so beautiful and I mean, as much as, I mean, as much as, um, um, well, the call is being recorded, like I said, and it's going to be uploaded to our global YouTube channel, and of course, will be shared to all of the persons that signed up for the event, and they will get to catch up if because one thing about long forms, people just suddenly lose interest, and it's worse mm. with our Africa. Oh, um, what? you know they're already they're already used to to platforms like um, Twitter Spaces where one can just quickly yeah, jump just in, join that mm -hmm. or even Google Meets Google Meets too you can just quickly jump in like this no long process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, lesson learned. So what I will incorporate um, going for moving on is possibly uh, free events would be um other platforms maybe while paid events if i would ever do a paid event then maybe baby all right i think we've actually spent you know like quite some time so um i think we can go ahead so welcome once more um king henry Ize by name the our director of startup grand O'Weary, and we are so ecstatic to get to host you today uh very amiable Mandy, but of then analytics, the AI and ML engineer. So thank you so much for you know getting to honor our invitation. We do not take it for granted. So yeah, um, I don't know if you could still get to say hi, just in case I may have like missed anything. So you just get um, to have those little additions. Thank you so much okay um thank you for thank you for the very warm um introduction um you know king henry and then um thank you for having me too on um on this um on this platform well um i think you've you've already practically said um everything right so um as you already said, my name is uh, my name is Mandy Engbot, and I am a machine learning engineer and a data science tutor with uh, with analytics. Right. So um, basically, what I do is um, when I'm not writing, um, you know, code machine learning models to either carry out predictive analytics or to carry out some um, natural language processing tasks. Right. I um, I teach people right how to um 
how to build those models themselves and also how to um, use the power of data science to answer whatever problem or tax that they are that they are faced with right and then um, once again um, thank you king henry and also thank you um, startup grind um, already for having me this this evening Yes, yes. Thank you so, so much. I'm really sorry. I turned off my presenter mode, so I have to activate presenter mode to be able to talk. Only wow. presenters can speak. Yeah, so uh, thank you so much. Um, we are really, really so glad. Uh, um, your portfolio just bust our head. <laughs> I beg you. Uh, machine learning grammar, you're speaking. All right, that's fine. Yeah, um, you, you're going to, we're going to be learning a lot most especially on utilizing you know artificial intelligence to actually help grow and improve our businesses and both in growth and um, economically financially and um, otherwise so we have we're going to be having you know beautiful um, um presentation by our speaker um the machine learning bots so, um, sir, you may have the floor. You could just locate, I know you can see the share screen option here, right? In case you'd like to share your screen. So, yeah, yes, thank you so much, sir. I can. Um, I, I I like the way you shortened my name as the as the machine learning man, but I beg you, I'm not the machine learning man. I, you know, I'm just someone that um, that is passionate about uh, making life easy, right? Using um, using technology, right? So though I know um, startup grind, you guys are you know startup grind, you know startup grind mostly. You guys are um, into seeing how to how to help entrepreneurs, techpreneurs, you know businesses out there. Right, so um, practically, right, I am I am here this evening, right, to um, let me put it in this way, mightly, right, to spread the the gospel of what of uh, of artificial intelligence, right, and then highlight some one or two places where, um, you know, um, artificial intelligence what will give you an edge, right, and then it will sort of um. 10 times increase the growth of what the growth of your of your business right of course if you properly um, implement it right so um, i created this 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 nice um, little um slideshow right um though apart from this particular slideshow um there's also a block um, resource that i made for the purpose of what for the purpose of this particular meeting um, I believe that I shared the the link with with um, with with you, um, King Henry, right? And then uh, maybe at some other time, right? I don't know how you guys. I don't know how you maybe get the link to them or how you upload it here. But so that's yeah. um, so that's also it by the way. Okay, so um, uh, let's see. Still trying to find my way around this. Pardon me if I am a bit um, slow. This is a new platform, so I'm fumbling my way around it. Uh -huh. So, yes, once again, my name is Mandia Import, and I'm a machine learning engineer with uh, with analytics, right? And you guys can always follow me on my socials on either LinkedIn or on um, on Twitter. So um, over here, um, in the course of this um, short um, discourse, right, I would wish to touch point on some key um, agenda that I um, that I pointed out. Right. So first, we um, in order to know how to how to 10x increase your business growth using um, using AI. Right. First of all, I have to understand the what AI is. Right. You know. Um, Funny enough, um, 2024, there's a lot of hype around what around what um, AI, 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 right? Um, 
you know, most people talk about it. Most people make noise about it, right? But very, um, actually, very few know how to how to fully understand it and leverage on what on the power that it actually offers. Right. So hopefully, by the end of this particular discourse, right, I my goal or my aim is to what is to point you guys in what in the right direction, in um, in as to how to use these AI tools towards to boost your business growth right so first we are going to understand the hype around ai in the agenda right and then the second item that we have here is um we're going to touch down what on why i think um ai is what is a game changer for what for your business right so um you know irrespective of the kind of business irrespective of the kind of the um of, of the kind of sickness is is dealing in right um there is always place for um for using or implementing ai to what to to boost your productivity to to you know to boost the business growth and etc right whether you're in the marketing domain whether you're in the professional services domain um or whether you are or whether you're a construction company or whether in the health domain right so in whatever domain right that you are operating in right um trust me um where the world or the direction that the world is heading towards now is um is 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 one in which um you know all of those different domains right will definitely have um some component of what of of ai being embedded into what into um into them so um so once we've touched down on um why i think it is a game changer right and then why i think you as what well, as business entrepreneurs you guys as um as as business people as entrepreneurs or as techpreneurs why you really need to, to key into this because you know this sort of brings me back to um to when the internet boom started right sometimes late um you know late 90s to the early 2000s right when the likes of um Yahoo, you know, all sprout up, right? Now, um, you bear me witness, right, that some of the big industries, some of the big tech um, industries, right, are actually what are actually businesses that what that were able to utilize, right, that internet boom, and what and then build businesses of it, right? And then now, um, I would say roughly twenty four years later right they are the you know the big brands in what in the um, in the world right so um also when you look at the likes of what the likes of facebook um facebook on max look about when you look at what um jeff bezos did with um with amazon web services too right you know all of these guys are what are where they are today right because um far back in what in the 19 in the in the late 90s and the early 2000s right they what they they, they 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 invested right and then they what they jumped on what on the ship of you know on the on the internet boom ship right and then um over the years right look at how big or how large they have watched they have grown right so um i'm telling you guys in essence or the message i'm trying to pass across is what is that um if you don't jump on the ai bandwagon now right you will be doing both yourself and your business what a great disservice so um, we are also going to what go over a step by step guide on what on um, those things that what, that you should definitely consider if you want to um, if you just you know if you're just getting started with AI you want to get your feet wet with AI you know want to you know want to have a definite um, roadmap on what on how to implement AI towards to your business and then um, we will briefly touch down on what on some ethical considerations right and then how to practice um, responsible what, responsible um, AI. And then that's this is very very key and important, right? Because um, like everything else, right? AI is what is just a, what is just a tool, right? So it being a tool means it can what it can be used for what for good purposes, and then it can also be used by some negative elements for for bad purposes, right? So it's important you are what you are well grounded in what in the ethical considerations, right? So that that way you know how to how to um, use this um, new and awesome tool. Um, in the right um, way, right? And then uh, we are going to summarize of this session by um, 
But you know, just 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 looking at briefly at you know what um what what or the future of AI looks like from this particular point. So um this would be the agenda for the for the talk, right? Though it looks lengthy, right? But then trust me, I will try as possible not to take too much of what of your time, right? Which is why I which is why I put most of what most of the content that I intended to, what to talk about on what on the blog post. Right, so um, probably after looking at this slide, right, you might want to check out that what that uh, that blog post. Great. So um, first, right, in order for us to um, to you know, to understand what AI is, right, understand what AI is um, is 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 all about, right. In order to understand it, and then also how to um, how to understand why it matters or why it is important for for your business, right? You first of all have to, you know, understand um, the 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 scope of the kind of the um, revolution, you know, the kind of the artificial intelligence revolution that it, we are currently um, undergoing now in the world today, right? So trust me when I tell you that that AI artificial intelligence is what is not just Another part is not just a passing trend or buzzwords, right? AI is what is here to what is here to stay. Right. So as a startup owner, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, right, you just have to look for ways towards to key into this and then use this towards to your advantage, right? That's why I give you guys an example of um, um Bezos and Zuckerberg and how they utilize the internet era back as of then towards to become um, what they are today. Right, so um, great. So um, see, right. Um, by analyzing vast um, amounts of data, right, data. So uh, um, you know, as a technical person myself, right, I know I'm not much of a uh, business person, right. But as a technical person, um, permit me to use. I you know there are definitely some some technical terms I'll use here, but I'll try to um, break it down for um, for you business people to to um, to understand, right? I'm sure that you know now that as a business, right, you should be able to or you should be collecting some some form of data, right, from your customers, especially digital data, and then I think this goes to uh, most entrepreneurs who um, probably. Um, run their what their business digitally, right? Um, so if you run your business digitally, then um, you definitely what you are definitely collecting some what some um, some some data, right? So over time, right, when you accrue those large amounts of what amounts of data, right? Um, actually, intelligence uh, power is what is that um, you can actually use it what to identify patterns in what in this data what that you have gathered from what from your business. Right, maybe is the data from what from your interaction with what with your customers. Um, maybe it's data that is being gathered from what from in the case of big organizations, right? Maybe from the different departments within that organization or whatever as the case may, may be. Right. So artificial intelligence can what can identify patterns, right? And then it can predict also future trends. Right. And then um another place artificial intelligence source is what is that you can actually use it. To to omit all of the repetitive and then mundane tasks in what in your um, your business, right? Like um, like take for a typical business case scenario, like um, like let's say in a uh, in customer retention, right? Uh, um, you know you know how you know how hard it is to what or how expensive it can be to what to um to have um, you know to pay call centers right or something like that so that they be able to what to be able to be handling customer queries you know all the back and forth and you know how hard it can be to have a human to you know to actually you know how expensive it can be to, to actually have a human within the loop between what between your customer and what and your um, and your business right? so that's one um powerful place that um that i think ai has what has um has done magic on Right, so um, AI has many use cases and what and um, business benefits across what across um, across all industries and what and also across all um, focus um, areas. And I can authoritatively tell you guys now, right, that in the next let's say couple of years, approximately eighty percent of what of the tasks that is being performed by what knowledge workers, 
right? So when I say knowledge workers, I mean um, probably most people that, uh, you know, let's say that they work um, digitally, they could be doctors, they could be lawyers, um, you know, financial analysts and the likes, right? So 80% of what of all of the tasks that is being performed by knowledge workers, right, will be assisted by, by artificial intelligence towards to some degree. Right. So now this means that what, that um, for the software tools that what, that you rely on, right? Like um, like like take for instance maybe your, you know your <clears throat> your your CMS that is your customer manage your 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 this is your content management system for those of you whose business you know who you know your business has gotten to a point in which maybe you have this have the website and the likes. Right, so your 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 CMS, your content management system, or your customer relations uh, management system, you know all those softwares, all those HR softwares that help you to to deal with, um, to deal with um, either customers or even employees within within your organization, and um, you know all these softwares, right? Even you know your social media tools, social media platforms, right? So your businesses, social media platforms. Right and um, you know content creation tools, you know like um, like um, like like uh, let's say the TikTok, Canva, Adobe, and the likes. Right, so all of these tools, your analytical dashboards as well. Right, your Power BI dashboards, your business analytical processes, and the likes. Like all of them, right, will what will incorporate AI capabilities. Right, so that they will be able to help you spend less time on what on those mundane and what are repetitive or the repetitive tasks. Right, that way you can get what you can get to focus on what on the key on the key parts or aspect of what of your um, of your business. Right, and then um, simply put, right, um, artificial intelligence in its core, right, is just about it's just about you know leveraging. On the power of what? On the power of of of, of mathematical formulas, um, statistics, and um, and machine learning, right? And other advanced, um, you know, um, other advanced technologies, right? Towards to automate repetitive tasks, right? So that's why earlier I said what I said. Artificial intelligence will be very very helpful in what in helping us to automate and handling either mundane or what or repetitive tasks. Right now, not only that, it will help also help us to analyze, you know, complex data sets, right, and then to generate insights and solutions that, um, that you know, you know, that might take a very, very long amount of period forward for human towards to handle. Right. So let me use an example to paint a scenario here. Right. So let's take for instance, if you know, you as a startup, you know, as a startup, you probably, you know, you wear many hats. If you are as a as a founder or as a co-founder of what of a startup, you wear many hats. Right. So um, you alone, you are you are let's say you alone you are doing the marketing, you are you are the marketing department of what of your startup, you are also the what the sales person of what of your startup's product, and you know, all those different hats that that typical startup um founders get to wear. Right. So this is where AI is is you know this is where AI was powerful for for startup founders and the likes. So now with AI, right, you can get what you can get to reduce the amount of time that I what that you ordinarily spent on what on all of this other what, all of these other tasks, right? Like let's say take for instance, it if, if it will take you um, let's say two hours, right, to draft out a nice compelling content and then post it on what on social media. Right, and then let's say it takes you another another two hours to be able to to um, to get your leads from social media towards your landing page, and um, let's say estimated four hours towards to do all that. Right, with AI you can what you can automate that what, that um, that process, right, and then um, this would what this would drastically cut down the amount of time that you may need towards to spend on what on some of what on some of those um, on some of those tasks. <clears throat> Great. So um, that's also one of the reasons why I would, why I think um, AI will be will be a game changer for for, um, for all businesses, right? Especially African businesses, right? So um, now, in order for us to, to answer the question on um, why 
AI is what is a game changer for for businesses, right? You first of all have to understand what makes businesses what what makes businesses successful, right? You know, when you look at every successful business, right, there is a well-oiled system or there are well-oiled systems put in place, right? That's why um, you know there are well-oiled systems put in place that what that allow or help that, that business what to function um, smoothly. Right. You know, you are having um, systems, let's say, like um, similar to the analogy of what or where you have marketing department, you have this sales department taking care of sales, you have um, customer um, relations department taking care of what taking care of queries from the customers and the likes. Right. So when all of these systems work in unionism, in in you know when when all the system working what work as well as a web machine, but of course the, the business would would will be. Um, be successful right so now, now just um you know just imagine that, that you are a startup right and then you have this product right but then um you have not reached that point whereby you can what whereby you can um have what all of these other what, all of these other departments right so you see you can what you can sort of what use ai towards to um to help reduce the amount of what amount of work and amount of time that what that you get to spend in what in those other what in those in those other tasks like what like dealing with customers or what or carrying out your companies or your product marketing campaign right and the likes right so um over here um you know if, if you're a business right you you especially within the african context right you first of all i would say this if you are an entrepreneur and you're watching this and then you don't have any form of digital presence for for your business then you are also shooting yourself in what in the um, in the leg right so that's why i asked this question are you running what a digital based business right i'm not even going to talk about digital based business for today right so um also why i think ai will also be a game changer for for businesses is what is um is it helps us to answer the question or it helps us in what in scaling our what our um our business Right. So how do you typically approach scaling what in your business? Right. And then also uh, when you look at what when you look at your customer touch points, right, or your business feedback loop, right? So um, what that simply means is um, you know, after after you created a product, you what you marketed that product, the product is out, you you the product is out, a customer buys it, right? There should be a what a feedback loop. Right, where that customer will be able to, to give you feedback of what of that product based on the customer's experience of what of that um of that product. Right? So that is what I mean by what by customer um touch points. Right. So almost all big business organizations or successful businesses have um have these customer touch points being what being needed in their in the systems of what of their um, of their businesses. Right, so um, AI can what AI is what is also what an excellent game changer in what in um in that point. Why? Because um as usual, right, you can what you can use AI to, to automate most of the tasks that what that happen in what in these customer touch points. Right, like take for instance, right, instead of you the CEO himself having to what having to you know deal with the customers directly, you can what you can simply um implement a, what a customer chatbot on what on um on on your site or on any of your digital um, platforms that would, what that would be able to um, you know that would be able to collect queries that would be able to engage with customers on what on your behalf right so you see that's one powerful way where or that's one powerful area where what where ai can what can be helpful for um, for your business right so that ai's work would be or that ai work would act as what as a buffer between what between your product or your business with what with the final um, customer get the data and then you know do um um, um feedback from the customer um, and then based on what based on um because usually how actual intelligence work is what is that um you train um or you create this this customer chatbot on what on previous data right so probably the chatbot will look at all of or will look at how you handle the cases with um with, with your previous customers right and then to generalize that and then um do same with what with any new incoming word any new incoming comma <clears throat> right 
right? So, um, yep. So AI is what is definitely powerful in customer services and what, and then um, and then support, right? And I said, um, you know, when you have a customer chatbot or um, some people call it chatbots or just virtual assistants or whatever, right? So you see, AI would what would can handle that aspect for for you, right? And then um, I remember earlier I spoke about I spoke a lot of marketing and advertising, right? So um, AI is very very what well, is very very powerful in um, in that aspect too, right? because you know um, one thing with marketing now is that marketers have or human behavior in general, right? Humans like buying things that are associated or products that are associated with what with um, with stories, right? So um, you can use AI in what in helping you towards to um, to generate content, right? Or to generate um, personalized content towards to specific segments of what of your um, of your customer base. Right. So now imagine the amount of time that you would ordinarily have to spend as the um, as a marketing, let's say as a marketing um, executive of what of your business. Imagine the amount of time that you have to spend what in creating that content, right? You know, you have to have. Um, you know, you probably have to hire a graphic designer. Okay, please, I want you to create this advert for me, right? Pay the graphic designer some amount of money, right? And then um, after that, you probably have to hire another another social media um, expert, right? To what, you know, put this content or put this um, story or put this product out for me. Right, but you see with AI, right? There, there are AI tools right now that what that can automate all of that stuff for what for uh, for you, right? They can help you quickly creating. They can help you in what in creating very very um, powerful and engaging um, content that will definitely drive in or draw customers' um, attention, right? And um, and and etc. Right. So. Um, also, right, AI can help in what in sales and what and lead generation. Right, I think I spoke about that, and then um, um, yep, I it can also help in what I made mention of what of content creation, right, and then uh, we see big um, organizations these days like um, like 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 banks and the likes, right, utilizing the power of AI for what for. Um, for fraud detection and then maybe um, risk management, right? In fact, uh, most loan companies these days, right, they utilize the power of AI in what in um, risk management, right? So, and then I'm simply pointing out all of these things to you, right, to paint an idea or to paint the picture in your head that what that um, that you know AI is usefulness. It's you know once you once you once you harness the power of AI as a tool. Right, there's a lot that what that your business can what can um, can stand towards to gain out of um, out of that. Right, so um, yep. Now let's move to let's move to the to the juicy part. Right, so um, if you are a you know as an entrepreneur, right, if you are asking yourself this question that oh okay since um since since um if you're asking yourself this question okay yes um i want to implement ai in what in my business right where well, i want to integrate ai processes into what into my business but well, how do i go about it right how do i get started in that right so um the first of all right you would have to do a little bit of what of um of thinking first right so um you first of all have to look at what your what what your business goals and what and objectives are to even begin with, right? You have to look at what look at what your business objectives and what and um, <coughs> shit. Sorry, excuse me. So you have to look at what what your business goals are, what and objectives are, right? And then um, once you vote, once you've established um, that fact, right? And then um, once you establish that fact, what your business goals and objective are, right? You you know, you knowing that you, you knowing what your goals are, right, will help you what to um to sort of carve out what a um, a system where you can get to look at what look at the whole pipeline of what of your business processes, right? So once you have been able to identify that, right, then it's now left for you to now look at what look at okay, what are those places that are what that are repetitive? That is the first thing that you should ask yourself. 
right? Like, okay, in my business workflow or process, right? What are those things that what that are repetitive, right? Or what are those things that are repetitive and then they might take what they might take some time. Right? So once you have been able to identify those what those touch points, right? It's now those touch points that you now write that you now try to use AI towards to uh, to help you out, right? Those touch, those are the areas where you where you want to, to implement or to implement AI. Right. Why? Because uh, remember, I mentioned a couple of moments ago that, that AI is what is excellent in handling what in handling or in automating what in automating repetitive tasks. Right. So and then next, right, you have to look at the data that you have as what as a business or what or as an organization. Right. So that's why at the beginning of this, I said um, if you are a digital business, right, then good, right, because whether I like it or not, you are already generating or you are already gathering some or some form of data, right. But then if you are as a startup and or as a startup owner or as a business, and then you don't have a you don't have a um, a digital front, right, then trust me, you are what you are you are shooting yourself up in what in the um, in the leg, right. So. Um, you know, so once now, um, once you've been able to, to gather this data, right? Maybe um, you know you gather the data from your from your website, you gather the data from what from your socials, or you gather data from your CRM and all these other sites, right? Um, you can actually what use AI to to help you to to analyze that data, right? To analyze that that data that you have already um, gotten. Right, so um, before AI, right, what um, these big businesses do usually is what is that they will hire someone, um, you know, they will hire maybe let's say like a very very expensive um, data analyst, right, or they would hire, um, they might decide to, to hire a data scientist or a data expert or a statistician to, to help them look at what at the data and then analyze what the data in order for them to to you know to help the business to make informed decisions right but now with ai right guys trust me they are what they, they are they are currently um actual intelligence applications right out there that you can use to, to carry out um, data analysis without having need to, to spend a dime on what on hiring what a data analyst right or a data professional to, to do that stuff for what for um, for you right like all you have to do is what is to gather your data right and then um you know give or um, um you know just expose that data towards the to the ai model right and then the AI will what the AI will go through that data and then it will analyze it for you right to analyze it for you quickly and what at your, at your fingertips right and then um that's what that's a very very cost effective uh, method right and then now after that you now get to decide what to do with the trends that what that you get from what for from the information that we'll get from what from that uh, from that analysis uh, so that's one um thing first right so you have to you have to be able to us to have or to gather um data sufficient data right before um your business can what can um, can implement or can use um ai right and then um so now once you have let's say once you're a startup and then okay you have that data so let's say you first of all you're able to to align your goals right you've been able to to, um, to identify those touch points those repetitive touch points in your business workflow that you can use artificial intelligence to automate right and then you already have or you already have data on what on ground right so what next right the next step would be for you to what to choose the what the appropriate AI tool for what for that um, business, right? Now, um, coming from uh, coming from a standpoint of what of someone who builds um, AI model, right? That's why at the beginning I said what I'm a technical person, um, right? Coming from a standpoint from for someone that what that builds some of this what some of these AI models, right? I'll tell you for a fact that what that number one, if you are just a startup, right? It is extremely expensive right for you to what to um to say you want to build a customized um ai for what for your business alone right you know if 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 or you know if, if you have the money right if you have the money right then by by all means right that's that's fine right but um as a startup right um i doubt you would have um that kind of money or infrastructure towards to build 
a customized artificial intelligence for, for that specific purpose, right? Now, um, the good thing is that we have what we call um, generalized uh, models, right? So that's the category where um, actual intelligence models like what, like your chat GPT or your Google Bard or your Claude and et cetera fall into, right? So um, those models, those generalized models like chat GPT are models that have been trained on what, on a large amount of what, of data covering almost every sphere of what, of, um, of human life that is being, gathered via the internet right so that's why those models are what are pretty good in what in um, you know in um in in what they do right because they are actually training what on lots and lots of amount of what of data right so um if you don't have the money for us to say oh i want to build a customized ai for my business right for starters in fact what i advise you to do is what is to um use some of what some of those those um, you know some of those generalized models that are that are out there right you can what you can use them and then fine tune those models what to suit your own business niche or your own business um use case or use scenario or whatever it is as the case may be right and then um okay apart from generalized models out there right there are also ai companies coming up with what with uh with models Right, with different type of models out there that suit um, specific use cases. Right, so some of them are, are paid for, some of them are what are free. Right now, if you should click through, uh, once once you look at this slide, you notice that, that this is a link. Right, so once you click through this link, right, it will carry what it will carry it what to this particular to this particular YouTube page. Right, I embedded that link there. Right, and then I'll advise you guys to what to um to try to to check it out, right? Because um that link is actually what a video that covers some of what some of the top ten free AI tools that what that you can use for for your um business, right? Some of the top ten free AI tools that what that you can actually use to what to um to you know for your business, you know, pending when you, your business is what is able to what to um. To maybe pay for uh, for subscription services, or um, or even you know build a customized um, actual intelligence for for um, for 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 that specific purpose, right? So you should definitely check this or check this out, right? So um, once you have carried out this this um, these four steps, right? Once you've once you once you've identified those areas, one once you've been able to identify those areas where you might where that are repetitive in your business workflow. And where AI might be, where AI is can be used to automate them, and then you have gathered your data, right? And then you have been able to choose the right AI tools for what for your business, right? The next step for you to or what you should do next is what is um is now learn, right? Implement. This is supposed to be implement. Sorry. So this should be learn, implement, and what, and then adapt your what your uh, your business. Right, because like I told you guys earlier, that what that um, artificial intelligence is what is here to what is here to to stay. Right. So um, okay. So here I say to identify high impact use cases. Right. You can assess your business processes, workflows, and pain points. Right. You should look for areas right where there are bottlenecks, inefficiencies, or manual tasks that can be automated. Right, so um, those inefficiencies in your workflow, that is where AI is what is powerful, or that's where you can actually use AI to, to help you um, help you out. Right, so um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, so now um, once um, you yourself as what as an entrepreneur or as what as a business owner, right, once you now say, oh, let's say probably after this my presentation you say oh so wow this is what I what I can do with AI okay that's interesting right you what you the next thing would be for you to what um, you know I would advise before you what before you move or before you jump into what into um, using AI with your two feet right I advise you what you try to, what, to educate yourself and then also educate your what your team right so if your startup is what is big enough that you have that you're able to have some you know you're able to have a team right or some staff right then um you should not only educate yourself but you should also what educate your what your team too right so educate everyone in what in your business right who will be impacted by what by ai 
right so you know from the leadership of what of um, of that business down to or down to the frontline workers and what and support staff and the support staff right you you should what you should try to what to make sure that what, that you educate them in what in how to in how to use and adopt this um, ai um, ai um, technology right to help um ease or to you know to to optimize their what their um, their work right now remember Remember, uh, this, uh, this is like this is a continuous learning and experiment and experiment um, experiment on um, experimentation culture, right? So um, you should definitely try to, to adopt that, right? And then there are actually lots of resources available to to help you and your team to get to speed on what on AI, right? I know that um, I just have a little time here with startup grind, so um, we don't have all the time in the world to, to look at everything or to look at all of those aspects of what of ai that may be important to what to you and your business right but i um, mean you know, as a business owner i think you should go you should be curious enough to what and to try to research for um ways right or resources that can help you towards to um, understand this new awesome technology right so you can definitely well you can definitely um go for there you know there are lots of books and articles both online and offline on what on ai fundamentals on AI use cases and also AI, uh, also AI's best practices, right? There are also a lot of what, a lot of online courses and tutorials on what on AI tools and what, and then, um, and then platforms, right? If you could remember, that's why I, that's why I embedded this, what this link here, right? This link here, remember, takes you to what, to, uh, to, I think to a YouTube tutorial on what, on some free, AI that what that you can explore what to use for for your business. So that's a good example of what of tutorials on AI platforms and what and tools, right? So you'd want what you want what to go for online courses, right? So that you can what you can gather more knowledge on what on this AI, right? Uh, remember, you're gathering the knowledge. You are what you are merely equipping your what your yourself to know how to what, to know how to use this powerful tool properly it will be effective and then it will automatically towards to your um to your business growth and then also you can also this you can also attend webinars and what and seminars that are featuring ai experts or um, practitioners right so uh, this right uh, once again thank you startup grind for giving me this um this platform right so this startup grind over the platform is one of such examples of what of uh, platforms um or webinar, right? Because you know what we are doing right now is is is, is, is just like a webinar, right? And um, I am sort of an AI expert, so yeah, so you get the idea. <laughs> and then um, also, um, don't hesitate to, to join AI conferences and events, right? Both online or in person, right? There are also there are also AI podcasts or videos out there, right? So don't wait, you know, just you know, develop or de develop a curious mind. Right, and then there are also there are also lots of what of AI communities and forums where you can ask questions and also learn from what from your uh, from your from your peers. Right, so um, you see, so now um, you know, just picture a case scenario whereby um, for your business, right, not only have you been able to, to educate yourself on AI, but then you are able to you are now able to um, fully identify those touch points in your businesses that need AI. Right, and then you are able to you are able to implement AI in those touch points. Right, so you see that will automatically, well, that will automatically boost your what, your business productivity rate. Right, that would automatically reduce the amount of time that you need to ordinarily spend that you need to ordinarily spend on what, on mundane and repetitive tasks. Right, and then that cumulatively would what will will, will lead towards to a ten x growth in what in your business. Right, so that is what that is the secret sauce. That is what I've just been trying to tell you guys all evening. Great. So let's just look at some ethical considerations um, in using, um, um, you know, some of these um, some of these tools, right? Because um, you know, as you know, ethics is what ethics is what is very, 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 very um, important, right? So. Um, Though, right, um, in this slide, I think I just I just summarized it, right? But then once you go to the blog post, right, I think I expand I expanded more on what on ethical issues become constraint um for this webinar. I just just wrote um as you embrace AI is crucial to prioritize ethical considerations, blah blah blah. 
but on the blog post, right, I try to, to explore um, these ethical considerations um, for AI further, right? So remember, I should definitely check out um, that blog post for more info on what on um, on that, right? But then, um, you know, every, you know, the, you know, some of those ethical considerations that as businesses or as startup owners or as entrepreneurs that you should, um, that you must navigate, right? Is, you know, you have to come to terms with what the issues of, of privacy and, and data security, right? Uh, I believe um, you guys know how what, how dangerous it is, right? Um, you know, you've been following up on news about, on hacks, on how, and also on how businesses lose uh, millions and millions of what of um, of dollars on what on um, on data breach, right? So um, before you move your before you jump or move into the into you know into the wall of implementing uh, AI what on your um, on your on your on on your business first, right? You must first of all consider and also know how to navigate or how to deal with what deal with your privacy and what and data security. Um, um, um issues right and then also when you try to implement an ai model to your business right you have to try to implement an ai model that is not biased right you want to implement the ai model that that is fair right you will not want your AI, you know you do not want to have an artificial intelligence model that what that will be biased in its treatment toward to some people or to some customers over some over some other customers right like that is a recipe for for uh, for disaster right like um, i think a couple of um earlier this year or so right um almighty google had that um, had that problem Right, I think uh, one of the AI models was was it was it misfiring, right? And then it tends towards to um, you know any any image prompt that you give it about any important person in human history, it was it sort of um, the output was what was it gave. It was sort of um, it was sort of racially biased. I know it was biased towards us blacks or Africans in a way, right? But um, other countries or other races of the world did not take that lightly, right? And then Google suffered the world a backlash from from most of its um, users, right? And then um, though I didn't bother towards to research that further, right? But I'm sure that um, they must have lost some form of or some form of revenue as a result of what as a result of what of that backlash. Right? So to prevent that kind of of thing happening to you, right? You have to make sure that what that um, that um, you consider. Um, the issue of what of bias and having a what and you know fairness in you know, when you're trying to when you're trying to integrate um artificial intelligence into what into your business processes and your systems right and then um also right you might want to what to um you might also want to think about to think of societal impact right so um how does the model that you're using Right? How does it impact towards the greater society? Right. So these are some of the things that, that you ought to, to consider. Right. Like I said, um, I don't really have much time towards depth in those. Right. But you should definitely check those out on the blog post link that um, um, that King Henry would, would pass on to um, would pass on to to you guys. Right? So that's just for um, for ethics considerations and responsible AI. Right. And then as for the future of your business. Right, I think I made mention of this earlier. I said in the next couple of years, right, approximately eighty percent of the tax performed by what by workers will be assisted to some by AI to some degree. Right. So now, in my own domain, right, um, as a machine learning engineer, right, I'm a very very technical person. I myself, I what I use AI in what in helping me write codes. Right. Um, we have. Um, I use. I use. I use. I'm not much of a ChatGPT fan. Right, but I use BAT a lot, BAT or Gemini. That's Google's um, AI. Right, so I use that a lot, and then I also use Copilot. Right, so these two um, AI, um, these two artificial intelligence have been extremely helpful for me in what whenever I'm trying to work, whenever I'm writing codes. Right, because um, now I can I cannot just decide what I cannot just decide what to ask. Um, AI forward for some codes to carry out a particular tax, and then AI would automatically generate that code for me. Right? So maybe something that um, three years ago might take me, um, let's say, roughly a week to what to maybe to implement or months to what to implement or complete. Right now, because of because of these AI tools at my disposal, 
right? I can I can complete that in what in in hours, right? So you see, um, that has what well, that has increased my productivity. So that means I can get to spend more time towards to doing other um, things, right? So that is one way, or that's one practical example of what of how artificial intelligence have been beneficial to me in what in my career, right? So um, yep, that was by the way, right? So um, yep. So now you guys have to remember, right, that the goal, right, the main goal is not to have artificial intelligence to do everything for us. You get, I think that's why people have this fear that, oh, artificial intelligence will take people's jobs. Oh, AI is coming to take people's jobs. No. But the trick is what is not to have AI to do everything for us, right? Instead, is to is for us to what is for us to have AI help us to do things better faster and more efficiently right is that that's that that's that's just the i think i would say that's the main that's the main takeaway if like if you're not going to get anything from all of the things i said right this should be like the main takeaway from what from from this presentation so um i sent it less what to help us to do things what better faster and more efficiently right so that that way we can focus on what we can focus on other tasks that would require real human skills right that maybe would require real human skills like what like our creativity or our critical thinking and also our, our emotional um, intelligence right so um uh, i know that might sound the um, that might sound a lot right but then um yep so thank you for thank you for for your time so that was basically it All right so um right now i'll just use this opportunity to retreat what i said i think at the beginning of what of this just retreat what i said at the beginning of what of this session right i said um you know most of the big businesses or most of the big brands that are big in 2020 in 2000 for the past in fact for the past 10 years to 20 years uh, what are uh, businesses that were able to they were able to adapt to the internet era when the internet started in the late 80s to the you know late 90s and early 2000s right the likes of bezos then um, um mark zuckerberg even google yahoo um, youtube you know and the likes right so now just imagine right how big your business would be right how far your business would go right if you at this particular point are able to are able to um, integrate business into what uh, it, sorry integrate ai into your own business process or what or workflows All right so that should be um that should be a note for what for thought for you as well as an entrepreneur or as well as a startup or as just a simple um business um runner so um thank you thank you once again startup grind for um, for having me Right. And then, like I said, right, if you um, if you are curious, you want to know more about this, right, um, you can check out the blog post that um, you can check out the blog post. And then um, also, I think I have my social somewhere in there. Right. So um, if you if you want to know further or if you want to know more or if you want us to talk, right, sure, you can what you can always reach out to me on what on them um, on my socials. Right, so thank you and um that should be all from me uh, mr king harry <laughs> uh, no. I remember we spoke about bias, so now you are being biased because of my son. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. King.
Ah, I'll be go. Uh, thanks. Um, thank you, Startup Grand Uberi, for for having me. And also, uh, I think I think one thing that I that I didn't say is that um, this whole presentation and what was on the blog post, right, was created with the aid of what of an AI. And then I think that roughly took me is it up to an hour cumulatively? I don't think so, right? So um. I think that would be a very, very good example to drive home the point that what I was trying to make. This is something that would roughly maybe take me a couple of almost a day or so, you know, because you have to curate what you know we sat and the likes. Right. But I used AI and then I spin this up in what in an hour or two. So if that's not a good example enough for you to jump into AI, I don't know what is again. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Startup Grind. Do enjoy the rest of your evening.